Uh, I think actually uh, that uh, the Prime Minister, uh, the Prime Minister Abi is, is, is doing a very good job. Uh, he really understands uh, diplomacy and uh, I think that he has, he has the right team. Uh, he has the right team and that is what I think uh, personally, that he has a very good team. He has a very good team of advisors uh, around him. Uh, but uh, and, and who have helped him to play very well uh, from the very beginning during you know from the very start of this conflict and and especially this 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 conflict people don't understand it uh, but actually it started with, with egypt the grand with ethiopian renaissance then that is where the conflict is started from uh, so the what we saw in tigri was just a feed uh -huh. Yeah, so so that was just a, a feed. What we saw in Tigri was just a feed. Uh, was just a, something that was coming from uh from 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 that disagreement with uh with with Egypt, that disagreement with Egypt. Uh, so what I am seeing uh right now is that uh, he has been victorious, the prime minister. He's been victorious, uh, but as we have mentioned consistently, let us not underestimate the contribution uh, that was made uh, by uh, the contribution that was made by uh, 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 the Ethiopian diaspora and the the whole Ethiopian, uh, you know, as a nation and the African community in 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 debunking the false narrative of the West. So we are seeing that the United States has a lot of problems and it is admitting by, by bringing Ethiopia uh, closer, it shows you that uh, the prime minister is, 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 is a man who understands diplomacy, as we have said, but it is an admission also uh, on the part of the United States that it cannot uh, continue uh, with its policy, its failed policy of antagonism you see uh, antagonizing and that strategy of overthrowing a government that strategy of overthrowing governments and uh, uh, and and uh, the united states is admitting that if a policy fails if you fail to overthrow then you turn around and make it friendship and this should not uh, make us relax as 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 a people uh, this should be uh, should make us even more worried as a people. Also, uh, should make us more cautious. Actually, and our interests as Africans uh, uh, should be a little bit more emphasized. And the solution uh, and the things we did should be further escalated. Uh, what I mean is that we should emphasize much more the things which we did uh, in the process in this process of overcoming this imperialist aggression. So that is the emphasis. What are the things which uh, the Prime Minister Abe did? The emphasis on African solutions to African problems, uh, empowering the African Union, the mobilization of three branches, three branches of society. Number one, the African civil society. Number two, uh, mobilizing the, the progressive African heads of state, and number three, uh, mobilizing the, the Pan-Africanists, okay, and, and, and the diaspora. Of course, when I'm talking about the African civil society, uh, I'm also talking about the African diaspora included. So these things, they have been the core of the victory that he has achieved. And also, uh, it is important for us to insist uh, because as we have seen even within the african community there were some who were uh, uh, criticizing the prime minister abe so uh, we have to understand that uh, even within ourselves within the pan-african body you get those criticisms uh, uh, and that is those criticisms are not because those people they don't love you but because they don't understand uh, the whole details of the situation and that, how to handle it. They don't, some of them, they don't really understand imperialism. 
and how it plays. And some of them understand it, but uh, there's something which uh, Professor Huntington uh, Mubai was said that uh, the ability uh, to hold the two contradictions and still remain sane and not become crazy, not go crazy or run crazy uh, is the definition of the intelligence. And I would add on that, that uh, the ability uh, to hold the two contradictions and synthesize them, uh, find the synthesis and find the means of when, how, and where to benefit from those contradictions. Uh, I think that is what defines a genius. So you find that within ourselves, as we are trying to defend uh, the cause of Pan-Africanism, the interests of Pan-Africanism uh, and the interests of Africa, uh, we have within ourselves people who do not have the ability to understand the contradictions within, you see, uh, within the body. For example, I'll give you uh, a, a, a scenario that we are operating within a neocolonial dispensation, but within that neocolonial dispensation, you find that uh, we as Pan-Africanists, uh, we have our goals and objectives are contradictory to the neocolonial, uh, you know, superstructure. And yet, we must operate within this neocolonial superstructure to advance our interests. So I will take that thing further uh, 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 to a body. I want to pull out uh, an organ one organization called the ANC. I've been discussing this with, the, with a lot of people and people still have a problem understanding it. Uh, the ANC, uh, the, the African National Congress of South Africa, for example, is operating in a fully and extremely neo-colonial uh, uh, environment, okay? And in itself, uh, uh, the, the structures, all of them are neo-colonial, okay? When you look at the country, the economy, the political system, but this is an organization which was formed by Africans on principles of, of, of wanting to advance Africa. But that does not mean that it cannot be compromised. So it is compromised, is compromised as an organization. But it does not mean that it is not African because it is compromised and it, it is now operating in a fully neo-colonial environment with everything attached to it, the money, the, 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 the thought, the education system, all of it. But this does not completely kill its Africanness. So I think people have to understand, this is where people have to understand, especially the Pan-Africanists. People have to understand this. So this does not take away the fact that this organization is an African organization. And, and, and you will see that it is advancing at, to, to certain levels, uh, to certain extent. You will see that it is advancing, uh, 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 you know, uh, African interests to a larger extent and I, I pointed out examples uh, when you look at uh, the invitation of the South African government uh, uh, you know uh, acceptance uh, of hosting the negotiations between the Ethiopian government and the rebels who were disturbing Tigri uh, that is number one number two it has stood on a pan-african principle the ANC has stood on a pan-african principle of criticizing Israel criticizing Israel for its occupation of Palestine. Number three, uh, ANC as an organization uh, has stood up against, against uh, uh, the United States influence which it, it wanted to peddle and push on the African continent. Okay, and, and, and that in influence of, of trying to push Africa into a corner so that it can side uh, with the West in the, in the Ukraine war. You know, President Cyril Ramaphosa and ANC have resisted this. And I think that Africans need to learn to give credit where it is, it is due. They have to learn to give credit where it is due. So that understanding that uh, 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 the organization is, even though it is operating in a hostile environment, but also understanding that it 
is playing for the Africans to a certain extent, to a certain level. And that is why it is under attack. And, and people don't understand that if ANC is defeated in South Africa, for example, and DA, uh, the, the, the Democratic Alliance comes to South Africa, it would be one of the most catastrophic things for the African continent because you, immediately the Zimbabwe government will, have, will be overthrown. Immediately it will be overthrown. And now you will start to see uh, the, 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 the incursion into the Democratic Republic of Congo and all the this southeast African region, you see, you know, uh, this south southeastern African region, though all those resources now they will start flowing through South Africa to the continent. This is not to mean that they are not flowing, but the West now will take over all this region and extract all these resources, overthrow the government in in overthrow Zan PF in, in in Zimbabwe. So understanding these things can be difficult and, and I appreciate how complicated the situation can be, but I think we have to. So that, you know, to, 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 to that level, I think that if I go back to Ethiopia, uh, the prime minister has understood things to that level, okay? He understands very complicated things and how to deal uh, with them and what you are seeing is that the united states is giving in uh you know momentarily you know on the you know uh, temporarily but it doesn't mean it will not continue to agitate to get its interest because the point is to get to pave way for its interests and those interests they involve maximum extra extraction of africa's resources and overthrowing every resistance, defeating every resistance on the African continent, okay? And anyone who has uh, Pan-African interests or sentiments has to be removed from power and be thrown to the periphery because Pan-Africanism by its nature is, is at contest, is always at, at a contest with imperialism. You understand? So this is the goal of the united states and that goal will not go away that objective th those objectives those aims and objectives for the united states as major they will not go away as as as, as major goals and objectives will not go away they cannot go away so it will still always find means of overthrowing and killing uh, you know people just to achieve these goals of in keeping itself industrialized and and, and, and controlling the materials you know, to industrialize itself and 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 and, and keep prosperous, and then keep, give crumbs to 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 the majority of its people in its country, uh, and then give the the benefits to, to to the few people, of course. And so this is what we are seeing. So uh, for the for the for the uh, uh, for the start, I believe that uh, the prime minister's uh, the, the, you know strategies and wisdom. Uh, 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 of the mock, you know, of, 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 of uh, uh, um, diplomacy uh, have succeeded and his policy, but that policy, which we said, which we enumerated the various things he did, uh, you know, from African solutions to African problems, then to, um, you know, to, from, you know, to surrounding himself and mobilizing the, the the African governments, which are progressive and understand what is going on, and they are able to defend that, and mobilizing the African community, that needs to be escalated even further. What he has been doing in the region needs to be escalated on the Africa on, onto the African continent because we are still not safe, and this division of Somalia should be prevented. Okay, this attack on on, on Eritrea should be prevented. All those it needs to be escalated all over the continent because what the other thing i'm seeing is that uh while people now have started rejecting france uh, uh in the western part of the continent in mali burkina faso guinea even guinea bissau you saw that there was almost a, a coup in guinea bissau uh, these people they don't want france over there there is a danger that the united states may consolidate its position there now that it has got a puppet in Ghana, who's Nana Akufuado, uh, uh, is inviting, this man is inviting a very dangerous enemy onto our territory. 
this enemy to consolidate. Not that the enemy is not there. Of course, the United States is already there in Niger, Benin, all these places is, is, is there. Ivory Coast, it is already there. Uh, but it will come aggressively again. It is already there even in Ghana at the, at the, at the International Airport, at the, at the Kotoka International Airport. Uh, but we need to resist this. And the progressive Pan-Africanists, starting with those people who understand the, the, the sinisterism of, of imperialism, like I believe that Prime Minister Abe understands it. The government in, 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 in South Africa understands it. The government uh, in uh, uh, the government in, in, in Zimbabwe understands the government in Mali. These governments need to work together, mobilize the African people and push out the United States and expose also uh, the, 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 the hypocrisy of people uh, like uh, uh, President Nana Akufuado and all the others who are, you know, within the web of, 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 of colonialism. And we have to continue to insist because one person, Nanado, cannot derail uh, 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 our policy of African solutions to African problems. And even if, even though he wanted to, we must reject that. So the Prime Minister Abi cannot see it, cannot afford to sit in Ethiopia and, and celebrate that now he, he has protected uh, Ethiopia because he has not yet, as long as the United States is in the region, is, 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 in, in, is, in, is in Djibouti, is in, in Zimbabwe, you know, is Zambia, is in South Africa, is in Kenya, is they are here, they are here causing, uh, you know, uh, they, they are here, you know, like dogs which are waiting, you know, uh, you know, to be thrown a bone. So that is the nature of this uh, type of uh, imperialism uh, and neocolonialism. And this is what they want to achieve. And we must not give them, you know, uh, a chance to cause that divide and conquer and achieve their objectives, which they want to achieve, which is exploitation and stealing of our resources and killing of our people.